testing. Here we are. We are live. Vibo for stands for virtual bowl four here. Season four. Of the virtual football league. Long season was started in November, December. Here we are in March. Looking to crown a brand new champion, two brand new teams. Not brand new teams to league, but teams that have never uh, made it to this point to the V Bowl. Flyers, really an unexpected team. Not expecting them to be here. They kind of, as you can see here, just edged out the Shamrocks to win the division. The Shamrocks would have just won their game the final week of the regular season, and the Flyers would not have even have been in the playoffs. But here they are. They've got a chance to win it all. And to start things off, Unfortunately, I don't have the thumbnail ready yet, like the poster for the game. Uh, guess I'll have to do that right after we conclude here. But basically, even with the day off of school, I still had to go other places and stuff. Managed to not have enough time to finish it. So that's unfortunate. But let's take a look at the roster here. The rookie quarterback Michael Mahomes taken in the fourth round. Of the draft prior to this season. Yeah, fourth rounder. He's got his team in the V Bowl. Just incredible. Of course, there's Elmo Illuminati. 99 overall running back. Elite class, his stats though uh, on the season aren't incredible. They weren't last season either, but he played a big role in that NFC Championship game that went against the Wizards, allowed them to advance to this point. They've got Amari Long, their star receiver, who hasn't seen quite as much production this year with Michael Mahomes as the starting quarterback after Max Zernachos uh, was benched after just a really bad season last uh, in season three for the Flyers they were the worst team in the league the record they had the number one overall pick because of that though and that allowed them to draft Trey Johnson who's been huge he's played huge already up to a 98 overall as a rookie Trey Johnson, he's uh, I think he forced to fumble last game. I think he's forced a turnover in both of the playoff games so far, both the divisional round and the NFC Championship. So he's definitely one to keep an eye on. Uh, got Forrest Abbott, corner, Lonnie Drummond, their free safety, and then Zach Vincent been a mainstay of this Flyers defense for a while now. Uh, just an elite player on that D-line for the Flyers. Of course, there's J.D. Selvi and D'Angelo Whitlock, too. Part of this receiving core in their offensive line. Uh, there's not anything spectacular, which may be why Elmo has trouble running the ball sometimes. They've got some bright spots there with some 80 overalls. And they're tied in Enrique Ramos. He's a very solid player. Uh, but I've 
got everything done with the flyers here. Salt Lake City, I've got them all upgraded and stuff. And now let's go to the Columbus Aviators. Take a look at their roster. I know I said kickoff at 7, but it's kind of when we started the stream. Also, I really didn't get the thumbnail and all that done because of uh, the weather. Like, the weather around here, the reason I got out of school, is what caused uh, that to not get done as well because even when I did have a little bit of time, I couldn't really use it because the internet wasn't working. And that's unfortunate. But, uh, welcome everybody to the game looks like we got another viewer welcome welcome uh, we just looked over the flyers roster now we're going to take a look at the Columbus aviators I just want to talk about one more thing after this but starting at quarterback for them former number one overall pick in the season two draft it's Pedro Martinez 99 overall here in his third season out of Texas. And he's played his best ball of the season at the perfect time in the playoffs. Both, uh, uh, hold on a minute. Sorry about that, but back. In this season, they drafted uh, Blaze Glaze the third. I believe, believe the third, fourth round. And he's been, I mean, he's a solid backup. He got a touchdown, like a fake field goal or something. Just want to give him a shout out. Uh, the, but these have really been their two key players here. Ever since they've got to Columbus, they've turned this team around. It's kind of a similarity between the Aviators and the Flyers. Both were franchises were kind of turned around after getting the number one overall draft pick. I don't know. It's a pretty valuable thing. Maybe will we see more teams tank in the future? I don't. I don't know. We'll see, I think the Snowhawks get the number one overall draft pick. Draft pick next season. But we'll see. Anyway, back to. What is at hand here? Yeah, Raiden Bolt, 95 overall running back. His third year out of Florida. Taking the second round by the Aviators in the Season 2 draft. And just, he's, ever since he's got here, he's been a top back in the league. I mean, almost like a Derrick Henry type. Just a big run you over kind of guy. He's also got some great speed. And he's actually a, a nice re receiving threat out of the backfield. Which is huge. Really helps Pedro out. The whole team. Uh, veteran receiver Mark Johnson. Drafted in season 1. 93 overall. And he's just pretty much a pure possession receiver. He's a wide receiver. But he's almost like a tight end. Uh, you got Kevon Staten there. He, he's a. That's a nice impact. Out of the slot. For the Aviators. And Jordan Smith the 4th. Uh, the Aviators first round draft pick this season and yeah he's turned out nicely he started off at like an 82 overall he's up to an 88 and yeah it really gives Martinez some weapons because I mean uh, that's kind of a tough thing he doesn't have like a speedy receiver he's got some possession guys you know, Staten's pretty quick but that's really what the Aviators needed that's He's a big reason why they're here today. They've got Sal Goddard. He's almost more wide receiver-like than Mark Johnson. Probably is more like a receiver than Mark Johnson, I would say. But uh, Yeah, his third year out of LSU. His second year, I think. Let's say third. I want to say third. 
uh, Jalen Springs. He's had a nice season on the D-line for the Aviators. Edward Brackett, AD overall, free safety Jamal Copeland, the corner Tevin Dunlap, Kelvin Rhodes, some of the key defensive players. And, yeah, actually a very solid O-line, especially compared to other teams for the Aviators. That's huge. Patrick McBride, the kicker. And, yeah, that's pretty much all we got to go over. The Columbus Aviators coming at an 80 overall, but we're about to send things out to Dallas, the site of this year's, this season's V-Bowl. You know, the last one wasn't that long ago. It was very early on in July. It's been like an eight-month gap between bowls three and four but we're here both teams 12 and four and I think we're pretty much ready to get things started so very exciting stuff 79 overall 80 overall and one more thing I almost forgot that I did want to go over these two teams did meet in the regular season Back in week 12, where the Flyers actually dominated that game. That was kind of a mid-season crisis point for the Aviators, actually. A little bit past mid-season. Yep, the Flyers just dominated that game. Beat the Aviators 31-10. to So this is a... Revenge game for Columbus. Trying to avenge that loss. One of the one of the four losses they had all season. That, that actually really surprised me. I got when I went back and look at that I was just really surprised yeah the Flyers I mean they're a good team you know they kind of flew under the radar I guess maybe that's why they're called the Flyers just fly under the radar but they've got a chance to win it all here and we are set to kick off just a moment. Aviators are technically the home team. So... Aviators should be wearing their black uniforms. But here we are, just about to get a look at the field. Look at things starting to get underway. Dallas, Texas, AT&T Stadium. Here come the Flyers running out. Battle of the Skies. Oh, I had a song, but I'm mad. Okay, there we go. That, that song can be for both teams. I think that's enough. I don't know if you heard that, except for an Ohio song. I think that's enough Ohio, though. You don't want 
the anything crazy to start happening. So that's only in Ohio. Ha 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 ha. Never heard that one before, but we're here. Both quarterbacks wearing the number 15. The coin toss. I don't know who called what. Who. Uh, they're both pumping their fists. Everybody's happy, I guess. So we have Trey Johnson speaking to Johnson of the uh, Aviators. Here we go. The Aviators will receive the opening kickoff. of this game. It's a, a virtual bowl for coming at you live from the VFL network. Kickoff time of 7.20 p.m. Central. And we are underway. It's taken a yard too deep in the end zone by Dakota Gaston. We'll return it to the 23. And we'll see our first play of scrimmage in V Bowl 4. Pedro Martinez, he's had a solid season. One thing that's caught him from time to time is interceptions. He's kept that under control so far this postseason. And that's going to be a, a key to the game for the Aviators. They want to take home the bowl trophy after this game. Raiden Bolt interview him earlier before the game, and he basically just said how it's been ever since him and Pedro were drafted to the Aviators, and it's nice how he really always knew the potential of the team. It's nice to finally see it here in season four in there. Martinez almost doing the interception. One of the things I was just mentioning, he has to avoid to be successful in this one. Nearly doing there, just very fortunate to get away with that. After the incompletion, it's going to be third and nine. They're trying to set up a screen, it looks like. They get it off to Bolt, and he's going to be tackled for a loss. That's Trey Johnson wrecking that play in the backfield. Loss of six. Now it's fourth and 15. The Flyers force a three and out. The big third down TFL on the opening drive of the game. First punt, we'll see here tonight. Oh, Shed's attack, a defender. There goes Whitlock, out to the 43, a solid return. A good starting field position for the Flyers. And that's the first time the Aviators have not scored on their opening possession this postseason. So let's see if the Flyers will keep their streak going. So they're going to line up in the I formation. First and 10 from their own 43. It's going to be a play action. Mahomes, he has time. He finally throws it, and it's going to be batted out of bounds. Uh, just nothing there. Incompletion. Start things for the Flyers offense. These teams who have wings on their helmet. It's an interesting dynamic we got here. That goes Elmo to the outside. Gets about three. So the Flyers offense faces a third down. I think I really I really just like the Super Bowl presentation. Madden. I don't know, there's just something about like seeing all those camera flashes and stuff. Like, you know, that, that just flashes. 
which adds to the experience. Now third and seven. Mahomes is back to throw. Throws it. It's going to be caught for the first down. That's J.D. Selby with a 10-yard reception on third and seven. And looked like he just ran a simple curl route. Jamal Copeland is just kind of playing off of him a little bit. Looks like he was trying to bait the throw, but he really reacted too late once it had been thrown. And that's caught now the Flyers. One completion are into Aviators territory. Now Mahomes is going to be sacked in the backfield. Jordan Valdez. Yeah, Mahomes. Quite a bit of time, but it seems that the Aviators secondary is done a pretty decent job so far on the three tempted pass plays that we've seen. Sacked him for seven yards, now it's second and 17. It's Elmo out of the backfield, he only gets three back. Wheel route there. Try to get the ball to your 99 overall playmaker. See if he can get at least some of it back. Make it a short and third down, but it didn't get much there. So it's going to be third and long. And 14 yards for a first down. Mahomes back to throw. Check down again to Elmo. It's a nice game, but nowhere near a first down. It's fourth and five. And Searcy makes the tackle. Did elude a man there. Who did Coleman? They're going to attempt a deep field goal now. On the way out there, 56 yards, and it is no good. Nowhere close. Wide right, and five to. Eight yards short. Okay, maybe not that short. Three or four yards short. Now, I mean, that's huge. Just these teams caught knowing the ranges of their kickers. I don't know if there's a kicker on this league. In this league, with the exception of maybe Jack Lewis of the Beats. It has that type of range. Just a little toss pass, and it is going to lose yards. Sal Goddard. It's a versatile tight end. Play was well read by the defense. First play of this drive for the Aviators will go for a loss. Thirteen, he's going to hand one to Bolt, and he's going to lose yards. This defense just swarming here. We've seen the Aviators have a dominant offense. First two games of the postseason. Two plays, they've lost six yards. Trey Johnson in there to finish off that tackle. It's now a third and extra long once again. Faced by one of these teams, third and 16. Martinez lofts it up down there, and it is going to be caught. Raiden Bolt with a 37-yard catch. The running back, third year out of Florida. From the quarterback in the same draft class, number one overall pick, third year out of Texas, and just goes up and gets that one. Martinez got rid of that quickly, just threw it deep. 
and allowed Bolt to make a play. What a catch. The offense had nothing going for him. Just losing yards at every play. What a huge catch that was. The first down came for two yards. Now they're in field goal range. Martinez drifts back. Throws one. It's caught. Reaching for the end zone. And he's down at the one yard line. Mark Johnson. 21 yards from Martinez. Martinez was starting to get pressured from the back. Got rid of that one in time. Uh, additionally, the help that looked like Raiden Bolt slid over there. To get a block at the last second. So now it's first and goal for the Aviators. The one yard line. They'll give it to Bolt. And he's in. Touchdown. The Aviators strike first. Raiden Bolt. Great blocking, he just sidesteps his his way into the end zone. Just had to push off of one of his blockers, a left tackle there. Easy money touchdown run for Raiden Bolt. That drive. Really all thanks to him and a nice, really nice throw by Pedro. Incredible catch by Raiden Bolt. Brought this offense to life for Columbus. They take a 7-0 lead here in the first quarter. With the first score of Vivo 4. J.D. Selvey. His first kickoff return. The game out to the 29 yard line. Amari so Long getting the huddle there, taking some initiative. Experienced star of this team will give it to D'Angelo Whitlock on a jet sweep, and he's going to be dropped for a loss of three. Beckett with the TFL. Yeah, ran into Enrique Ramos. It's tied in, blocking for him on the outside there. He was just getting overpowered. Whitlock was going nowhere on that one. Trey Johnson talking. Ready, ready. Fellow members of his defensive unit on the sideline there, trying to straighten things out. They have to play well to keep their team in the game, as well as this offense play. Here goes Elmo. On his second and 13, and he's got the first down. It's about 13, 14 yards. And just open space ahead of him. Before he was brought down by Perry. Nice burst there. Flyers up to the 40 yard line. There goes Elmo, and he's got another nice run across midfield. That one for 12 yards. The Flyers once again are in Columbus territory. Dropping back from under center gets rid of this one. That's Enrique Ramos. First catch of the game for the tight end gets three yards. Home nice block by Elmo. And this one's picked off. Trying to get into a Mario Long. And Calvin Rhodes picks it up. And a big mistake by the rookie playing in his biggest game of his career. Trying to use those curl routes that they've been so successful with throughout the playoffs. Kelvin Rhodes just able to read that and time it up perfectly. Trying to get to Amari Long. That's going to be frustrating for Long. Such a great season. 
Season three just hasn't had the same success this year, even though his team is really good. Just hasn't really found his connection with the rookie. There's a nice play on first down after the turnover for the Aviators. There's a play action. Martinez throwing it deep. He's got a man, and oh, it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Sal Goddard, who looked like he was open. The ball somehow just like bounced off his hand. And all the way out of bounds. Another play action. Martinez gets rid of this one, and he's got a wide open man. That's Jordan Smith, the fourth. And he's got a 31 yard catch down to the Flyers 22. That's what we're used to seeing the Aviators. Throwing the ball downfield. Columbus taking ter territory from others for themselves. It's like the name of the city and plot. Here goes Raiden Bolt down to the 13. That's close to a first down. Just short, and that's already the end of the first quarter. Seven to nothing. The Aviators lead. Seven nothing. Aviators on the move, looking to score again. Just had a nine yard run by Bolt to close out the first quarter. He's already got a touchdown this game. Martinez back to throw. And the man over there is Jordan Smith. Again, the first down reception. Four by his name, and four is the game. If he bowl four, here's the toss to the outside. Bolt. He hit around the line. Trey Johnson, another TFL. Martinez tries to get him with the hard kick. Out in motions, bolt to the outside. Flyers know they got to cover him now. As Martinez moving around, throws it, caught. Down to the four, puts Martinez over 100 yards in the game. And that's Hakeem, his first catch of the game. For four yards. Short completion there. So now it's going to be third and goal from the four. Martinez out of the shotgun. He's got time. Throws it in zone. Back the end zone. Caught by Jordan Smith, but he's out of bounds. So fourth down. Yeah, it's just. Something with the receiver in this game, they just don't have the awareness around the back of the end zone. They should. So, unfortunately for the Aviators, they'll be kept out of the end zone, but a chip shot field goal will make it a two possession game, 10 0. Just a 21 yarder. Up and good. 10 zip. Aviators lead. The second quarter. Touchback taken by Selby. Here comes Michael Mahomes. After that first quarter didn't quite go the way he wanted it to. No points for his team. And that interception led to the field goal. And Flyers moving the ball pretty well. Here's a play action first down. He's got plenty of time to throw. The coverage was very nice down the field. Finally does get rid of it, just has to throw it about, out of bounds. He's too good at the sack. And here he goes. Elmo tripped up and a host of aviators take him down in the backfield. Seriously, in on the play. Holding that one up. Loss of two, so now third and 12. Seriously, and Dunlap. Key players that linebacker core for the Aviators. Bunch formation for the right for Mahomes. 
12 yards here. He gets rid of it short. And a juke move, and he's not going to get much farther after that. Angelo Whitlock, a 7-yard catch. The Aviators defense holds strong. It's another stop. So far it's been a missed field goal interception. Now a true, uh, no, I think they did force a Yeah, point. I want to say. Well, I don't know, this might be the first part of the game. By the Flyers, actually, I think it is. And a return by Gaston. So the 18, so. <coughs> Excuse me, not return very far, but. Let's start with it at the 18, not a. Not a bad put, by any means. Uh, with the halfback draw to Bolt. Tries to do a spin move and then has his forward progress stopped after that. And a five, second five. Martinez from under center dock back throws it and a contested catch made by Sal Goddard. Who makes a 17 yard catch at the 40 yard line. And that was well defended. It's a great catch, Lonnie Drummond. Looked like he almost made a play on that, but Goddard manages to come down with it. First and ten of the forty. Martinez throws back to Goddard. It's a yard. Martinez zips one on second and nine, and it's going to be caught. Kevon Staten for 10 yards, his first catch of the game. Now the Aviators are into Flyers territory again. There goes Bolt. Solid carry for seven yards. With the Salt Lake City 42 yard line play fake. Lots of time, Martinez airs it out. Oh, contested. Down the field. That play was just not there. Bunch of flyers in the area. He was lucky he didn't get intercepted. Oh, and Bolt! Hurdles a man, but he's just blown up by Trey Johnson in mid-air. Yeah, the hurdle the guy that was blocked and down the ground. <laughs> Mid-air, Trey Johnson with his fourth tackle for a loss in this game. Just takes his legs out from underneath. Brutal hit. Trey Johnson is really balling out in this game. I don't think he can. Keep his team in it. That was big there to get a stop. It seemed like the Aviators were at least getting close to being on the cusp of field goal range, but solid points. Goes out of bounds at the seven yard line. The Flyers take over. Elmo just runs into the wall. Goes Elmo again. He can't get anything going. He loses two yards. He's been at the griff. Taking him down for the loss. Third and 12 from the five. Mahomes, he has time, he's stepping up, and now he's going to be taken down, and that's a safety. Cooper gets him in the end zone. And the Aviators defense puts some points on the board. And Martinez.
Marquise Cooper sacks Michael Mahomes in his own end zone for a safety. It's 12 nothing Aviators, and they're going to get the ball back here at the end of the first half. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Here it goes, Bolt over oh, toss the outside. Looked like he could have had a big game, but he was just tripped up. Lost two yards. He tried to regain his balance here. I thought he would for a second. Ends up stumbling. The balance then falling to the ground. And one more play for the two minute warning. Martinez rifles when it's caught. That is Goddard and he's going to be tossed forward. Close to the first down. I think he got it. Yes, he did. Oh, wow, could have been third down and two or three, but the defender that made the tackle actually kept Goddard up on top of him and threw him forward. The first down right for the two minute warning. We have now reached and now. A great throw to the sideline. Catch made by Kevon Staten with the toe drag for 23 yards. The Aviators have got it at the Flyers 38 yard line. Just a dime. An excellent route ran by Kevon Staten. Martinez throws one. Oh, there it is. Out of the backfield. Oh, wait, is that out of the backfield? I'm sure they got him right out of the backfield. I saw it really good. Got it with a catch, and now Martinez almost throws a pick. Would have been disastrous. Given the great situation that the Aviators are in right now, they have total control of the game. Third and two, high snap. Hands it the bolt, and he's got the first down. And runs two defenders over and gets some more. Seven yards after contact on a 19-yard burst from Bolts. Now it's first and ten, and Martinez finds Bolt. I believe that was Bolt again. He holds on to the contact. Once again at the one yard line, like that catch Sal Goddard had. Taking out the one yard line. Second one, and he's got a touchdown. That's Mark Johnson. Wide open in the end zone. With 58 seconds to go in the first half, the Aviators strike again, and they're starting to pour it on in the first half. We're not even at halftime yet. P.A.T. You already know it's good. The Aviators have taken a 19 to nothing lead. And that's huge, getting nine points. Before the half, due to the safety. Forced by Marquise Cooper. Get the ball back with 54 seconds to go. Yeah. 
Mahomes. Empty backfield. He's already made some mistakes in this game. Oh, throws one into some heavy traffic there from Ramos. Those are behind him. Cannot afford to make another costly mistake here at the end of the half. He's already thrown an interception and taken a sack for a safety. He's going to step up here. Floats one in the eyes are wide open. Amari Long for 17 yards. We can just send him on a go route or something. 23 yards. I'd love to see them send him on a go route. Get him involved. Like he did with Zernachos. Yeah, that's a bit. Holmes just typically gets rid of the ball pretty quick. Doesn't hold on to it uh, very long. Typically doesn't take many sacks. And with that, we really have a chance to set up plays down the field, and that one almost picked off. That would have been an easy pick six, but even there, faced almost instant pressure and still managed to get rid of the ball. Third and five, Scott Whitlock. Nine yards. Flyers. Call. Final timeout. Of the first half. 20 seconds left. They're still scoreless. Holmes fires. It's caught. And will they have enough time? I think that might be the end of the half. Yeah, they can't even get it off. I, I just don't understand why spiking the ball or something. It's not in this game. It's not in any. Madden you know, on the simulation like obviously it's a play you can call which makes it even which is what makes it so inexcusable that like why can AI teams not do it like, why is it just you get tackled and bounds with like 30 seconds or less than the clock. That's pretty much it. That half or whatever. Oh. Almost forgot. And tragic. I broke this tradition. The halftime show. Almost forgot. So, for the halftime performance this year, once again, we've got the Bikini Bottom Super Band. Yes, here they are. Let's head down to the field and let them take it away. It's the thrill that won or killed 
there we are. Bikini Bottom Super Band does it once again. It's really incredible. It just <laughs> brings me to tears every time. Sponge has such a wonderful voice. The Flyers start with the ball in the second half. They desperately need to get something going in this game. It's going to continue to get even uglier. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 94. So already we're out of hand here. 19 to nothing. Aviators lead. There's a play action. Mahomes taking a lot of time and he's gonna be sacked. Cannot get rid of the ball. Nothing open downfield, maybe. That's how it has been most plays today. Third and the linebacker. Himself a sack in the V Bowl. Big loss there. Drop for nine yards. Still very early <laughs> in this third quarter, but it's just like you almost feel like if they don't do anything here, that this is it. The aviators have been playing very well. Offense for the defense for the Another TFL you see Kevin Rhodes at the interception earlier. Now it's third and 21, but. third down play we've seen tonight in the game where we've seen a lot of them very long third down situations it's going to fire this one it's going to be caught and they're actually going to pick up the first down converting on third and 21 here we go here we go here we go and the flyers pick up the first down that's huge 29 yards Lead to Selby. So play fake again. Holmes this time unloads this one. It's going to be caught down at the 20 yard line. There's Whitlock. So Selby and Whitlock. 29 and 36 yard receptions. Now the Flyers are as far as they've been all game. On the edge of the red zone. In Columbus territory. Two really nice throws made by Mahomes. First and ten, there goes Elmo to the outside. Gets a nice game of six before being brought down. 14, quick drop from Mahomes, throws a short one caught by Ramos. It's close to sticks when he first got it. They're saying he's just inches short of the first down. It's third and inches. And they convert. Play action. Mahomes gets rid of it. Fires to the end zone. It's picked off. Picked off by Perry. A big mistake by Michael Mahomes. His second interception of the game. He throws into all kinds of traffic. Eric Perry. Eric Berry like interception. As Mahomes was trying to get it to Whitlock, but that just did not work out. It led Perry perfectly. It did play, play the route very well. Just a big time mistake. I mean, that was the Flyers' chance right there. 
finally. Man, third and inches. Unnecessary interception thrown. Here goes Bolt. The catch for 19 yards. Puts Martinez over 200 yards on the game. Bolt's ball and he's got more receiving yards than rushing yards so far. Touchdown as well, the first touchdown of the game. Aviators looking to capture the V Bowl for championship. Martinez throws one in there to Goddard. He makes a nice catch. 47 for a gain of seven. The throw was actually a little bit off on Martinez in the play. Goddard a, made a nice adjustment with his hands. Kept the defender from being able to make a play on the ball. Martinez rolls out, rifles one again. Yes. It's another completion, this time Mark Johnson. For 14 yards. Play action, Martinez zips one, complete again. That's Mark Johnson again. For 22 yards on the strike. And those receivers starting to get open, make plays. Really don't see Mark Johnson create that much space for himself through his routes, but he was able to do so right there. He goes Bolt, the middle, he gets about two. Martinez, second and he throws one, it's caught by Goddard. Martinez empties in the backfield. Second goal from the eight now. He's going to throw. It's going to be caught. Fighting for the end zone is Jordan Smith. He went the, the rookie receiver, one of the V-Bowl touchdowns. He got very close. Once again, the Aviators are down at the one yard line. Third and goal now. Fullback dive. Gregory is actually stopped. Trey Johnson. The nine and entry to the end zone. <laughs> he's just doing everything he can. He's playing the heck of a game. His offense, his teammates just aren't helping them out any. Shortest field goal possible, 18 yarder. It's good by McBride. Here in the third quarter, a virtual goal for it is 22 to nothing. 141 remaining in this quarter. And this thing looks like it's just really out of hand right now. Selby returns it to the 28. Flyers, they're going to have to score. They're going to have to score quickly. I mean, right now, it looks like Aviators are enacting total revenge on the Flyers. The Aviators, they lose the Flyers 31 to 10. We throw the regular season. Let's go, let's go. 
17 yards to number 17, Amari Long, his second catch of the game. Yeah, shocking how these two games between these V-Bowl teams went completely opposite directions. Fires still scoreless. And it's getting close to the fourth quarter. And that's a big play. They hand it to Elmo and he gets nowhere. There's Mahomes, throws one too long, it's caught. Seven yards to Amari Long. Third and three, it's going to be the last play of the quarter. Mahomes throws it. Oh, what happened there? Complete lack of communication. That Mahomes wasn't even looking. That's going to be how the third quarter ends. There's only one quarter left to play here in Dallas, Texas. The home of Virtual Bowl 4 and to start the fourth quarter it's a fourth down play. Mahomes quick drop zips one and it's going to be caught. Nice throw. Nice touch. And that one. First down to Amari Long. Had a few completions to him this drive now throws one away as he's hit. Second and ten. Mahomes throws, has a man in stride. That's a Marlon Long, and it's going to be caught at the nine yard line. 26 yards. The throw is a little more out in front of him. Maybe he would have, would have had a chance to take it all the way. He had to slow down just enough to catch that one. It's still a big play. The Flyers. Let's see if they can punch it in here quickly. You know, that's just the biggest problem. They gotta be. They gotta start their. Should have started their hurry up offense in the third quarter. Trying to catch up from this deficit. Cut into that lead. One drive at a time. Holmes throws to Elmo. He is tackled at three. So now third down and goal. From the three yard line, obviously, you expect them to still be a four down territory. Mahomes, he throws in. Adam, but the throw was short, pulled him out of the end zone. Get long tackle at the three. I mean, it's like the second or third play they've had. I think they might have somebody in the end zone, but then for some reason, yeah. He's running along the goal line, and that throw just put him in. He's able to go back. So fourth and goal, here it is. In the three-yard line, Flyers still trying to get their first points of the game. Mahomes throws, and it is deflected and almost picked off. Another turnover by the Flyers. This time... It's a turnover on Downs. And if it hasn't been made clear already, the Columbus Aviators are just dominating this game. They're going to take home this V Bowl unless something just insane happens. The Flyers at this point not even up a fire. I mean, when it seems like they are going to put up a fight, they find a way to shoot themselves in the foot. Managed to not get in the end zone. No way to win bold. The aviators are already starting to run down the clock. Run down the play clock and get it to Bolt. Bolt is so effective in these situations. Just because he take time on the clock, it moves Picking up those first downs and second, third, or even 
first like he did right there. Close to first down. It's just like, you know, it's like everybody knows Bolt is running. That's when they can't stop him. That's, makes him such a special player, but they try a play action there. Get a little bit greedy on second inches. Martinez is sacked by Martin. Loss of the nine. Now third and nine. That's what the aviators will have to face. Still, they're going to run this clock. Another five minutes at least here. If they don't convert here, they're going to read option. Martinez takes it. It's about six yards. Not going to get the first down, but still taking plenty of time off the clock. I mean, even just that one first down they got on that very short lived possession allowed them to take. What was it? Almost two minutes off the clock. No, I'm sure why I snapped that one so early, but punt return to the 28. Wow, right, really right. 426. On the clock is all that stands between the Columbus Aviators and a virtual bowl championship. The trophy presentation and all. Mahomes into the backfield. He's just got to start sneaking this ball down the field. That's a nice game. Out route. Some more left for catch. And he got out of bounds. Just got to try to conserve as much time as they can. Once again, facing some pressure in the backfield. He gets away, but he's hit. Throw it deep and another interception. He tried to get it to Amari Long. And Kelvin Rose with his second pick of the game. He had another not a big defensive play, I believe. But another mistake by Mahomes, and that's it. That's going to shut the door on this game. I mean, look at Amari Long, just the frustration you can see. That ball is picked off. He just stood there out of bounds. Took out his anger on Rhodes. After moments of consideration. Realizing the play was still alive. Took him down. But Kelvin Rhodes. Up there. I don't know. He's got to be up there in the Ebo MVP conversation. I'm not really sure. Wells has such standout stats, and Trey Johnson just a level with Raven Bolt. Wow, wow, that's the second time. He's just Raven Hammer on Bolt. It's surprising considering how big of a guy he is, but Bolt, the very next play. A nice carry. Got his average up to about four yards per carry. So strong on the ground. Like I said, it's just late in the game. Lookman just weaving through the fenders. Making it look easy. And after he just took an absolute shot. The upper body, look at this. Tevin Dunlap, Jalen Springs, Beckett. All on the sideline, shaking each other's hands. They know. It's about time for the celebration to begin. It's Bolt on draw again, and what a, what a step by Bolt to change directions and loosen this on display. That would be a short gain to him to a gain of six. And I think it will be a yeah, last play for the two minute win. And there goes Bolt. He's tripped up immediately at the line, but still just manages to fall forward. I think he got the first down just by falling forward from the line of scrimmage, pretty much. 
Mills just draw play after draw play on the runs by Bolt. And he's really padding his stats late here. Flyers defense looking like they've pretty much given up. Oh, Bolt, candidate for the bowl for MVP. He's going to stuck to the line there. Oh, jinxed him. But after this, they're only going to have to snap the ball one more time. And that'll be the game. Third and three. Bolt not on the field. Actually, no, they don't even have to snap it again after this. They just go jet sweep with Goddard, and that's going to be the game. That's going to do it. They don't even line up in victory formation. That's just going to be the game. They don't have to take another snap. The Columbus Aviators are your season four VFL champions. Oh, are they going to do the disrespectful Madden field goal? Oh, they will. And to add on to it, his time expires. A 25-point victory for the Aviators, and they are the champions of the VFL. The light blue confetti rains down. in AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Texas as the Aviators celebrate their victory. They're the champions of the whole league. And what an incredible performance by them tonight. Complete domination, complete ownership of the Flyers a team they lost to 31 to 10 the regular season didn't give up a single point tonight added on a field goal this time expired just for extra measures and Kelvin Rhodes the cornerback with two interceptions will be named the V Bowl for MVP by the game by Madden 20. There they are Martinez, Bolt, Johnson, Dunlap, the true leaders of this team. Could not have picked a better bunch to represent this team. They've been through it together. The highs and lows. And it's all led to this the championship as they hoist the trophy. And what a team and what a process it's been for the Aviators. Example of trust the process. I mean, the first ever season we had, the Aviators finished at the bottom of the league. Worst record. And then they selected this man right here. 5'11", 167 quarterback out of Texas. Submitted by one of my friends who just wanted to submit players who actually played different sports. Pedro Martinez, the great MLB pitcher. But hey, now he's got a virtual bowl ring to his name. And he's played well all postseason. No interceptions in the playoffs for Pedro. And I think it's safe to call him Playoff P. <laughs> Steal that from Paul George. Playoff P or Playoff Pedro. After that one, there were a lot of doubts. I mean, after those last two seasons where the Aviators went down the first round of the playoffs, like, because in large part of Martinez and all the interceptions he was throwing in those big games, and even some doubts 
from myself. I'm like, wow, is this going to be the guy? Like, are they going to have to move on? Is he going to be the next uh, guy that has to be replaced like Max Zernachos was? But, I mean, couldn't really justify that because the Aviators continued to win. They went out there, won the division for a, the AFC North for a second straight year in the division with actually pretty tough with the Brooklyn Beats. I mean, they had a, just a scary good defense. Managed to edge them out, win the North, and take down the Marshals and the Hounds in the playoffs. Now they've beaten the NFC champion Salt Lake City Flyers. Wow, 265 yards passing, a touchdown, 223 yards passing for the rookie Michael Mahomes, still a lot to build on for him, yeah, I mean, you know, like I was just talking about wondering, oh, can Pedro really be the guy with all these interceptions he's throwing, hey, you never know, Michael Mahomes turn things around in the future and end up on the other side of a game like this for the league championship great game by Pedro and how about Raiden Bolt I mean really that first season the first and he's been the I mean I think he's been an even bigger part of this team's success than Pedro frankly you know, you see Pedro's highs where he just takes over the game, too, for over 400 yards against the Marshals. Played really well against the Hounds, but... Uh, Rain Bolt, he's just the definition of consistency. I mean, just consistently putting up numbers, consistently been a top back in the league ever since he was drafted in Season 2. I think I said this earlier the season or in the playoffs, like... If I could choose anybody to be on my VFL fantasy team, it might be Raiden Bolt because I mean, he just consistently puts up solid yards rushing. I mean, you know, this wasn't even a, a good, you know, a outstandingly good game for him. I think he on the season averages more than four yards per carry. But I mean, still 3.9 yards per carry. That's good. And they fed him the rock this game 22 times. While that was running out clock at the end. Got 87 yards and the first touchdown of the game was scored by Rain Bolt. And I thought that was really fitting. Elmo Illuminati. I mean the man's a 99 overall. Just I think a lot of it's to do with the offensive line. Just has trouble getting getting it going sometimes. Amari Long. Nobody over 100 yards this year's V Bowl. Uh 86 for Amari though did lead the game in yards on five catches. Sal Goddard, Rain Bolt. That, that's the thing, like Bolt, man. Like he always has receiving, like the receiving yards and stuff. It's like even if he doesn't have 100 yards rushing or something, he all seemingly always has over a hundred total yards, like all purpose yards. Like here had like sixty rushing four catches. You would have had like close to twenty five fantasy points in like a PPR league. Points per reception league or something. But anyway, back to the stuff that's actually relevant to this game. Uh Jordan Smith, the fourth. How about the rookie? He's been a big part of this team. Give him the recognition he deserves. He's a V Bowl champion as a rookie. I mean, winning the, the V Bowl is very important for a player. It's a progression, their legacy. I mean, they get XP, legacy points, and all that. I mean, that's huge. Trey Johnson, 17 tackles in this game. I mean, he was all over the field. He just, I mean, could not really get any help. 
Evan Dunlap played a good game. Addison Cummins. Copeland. Tobias Searcy. Eric Perry. Interception. Marquise Cooper forced the safety. Kelvin Rose, a rookie. Rookie corner out of LSU. Won the MVP of the big game. V-Bowl Friday. Yeah, Trey Jones at four TFLs. Gonna look at some of these plays here. They don't have the punt? Sure they did. Yeah, punting is a separate thing. Okay. Yeah, no points for the Flyers. That's tough. Uh, Austin Yoder. I don't know. <laughs> I just like the name. Like, I didn't make this guy or anything. I just <laughs> like that his name is Yoder. It kind of looks like Yoda. Like, I had nothing to do with it. Seems like some type of player I would make. A name like Yoder or something, but. I don't know, this guy was just on the team. Uh. Selby. 100 yards returning. We had a, quite a few kicks to return today. Dakota Gaston. You know, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> we had. Oh, they actually had two kick returns. Oh, yeah, because of the safety. <laughs> Dude, like, like, that's how you know you're doing bad when it's like... <laughs> your team doesn't score. But the opposing kick returner has two returns. Like, oh, I guess that's why your punter's off for kicking it. The free kick after the safety. Uh, return. Yeah. So that's really all for the stats. Uh, take a look at this, I guess. We'll get a look at all this in the highlights. We'll look at the team stats, even. And obviously, this game wasn't quite as entertaining as Season 3's V Bowl. I mean, the greatest play in league history, 4th and 17. Gleamer to Darrell Franklin connection. But I don't know. Honestly, I just had a feeling like. Whoever won that AFC championship was going to win it all here. So pretty confident about the Aviators winning this one. Uh, I don't even know that I expected it to be this lopsided, though, this dominance by the Aviators. It's just like the magic ran out for the Flyers. The aviators, I mean, they just played. They played it to their to their potential. I mean, it's like Raiden Bolt said in the interview prior to the game. I 
And they were going to play as hard as they could and as well as they could. And I definitely think that they did that. This catch from Rain Bolt. Just incredible. This is really what started the whole uh, barrage, I guess you could say, by the, the aviators. What was this? Third and 16. Third and 16. Both defenses were just balling out. You know, the offenses were doing nothing but losing yards, getting these third and extra long situations. And Martinez just lofts this one up and bolts the running back. I think it's Forrest Abbott, one of the best corners on the Flyers. Just goes up and makes a spectacular catch. I mean, from there, things just took off, took flight, haha, -ha, for the aviators. It's a chaotic looking slants. I'm looking at all the players crossing each other and stuff. Ends up getting the Mark Johnson. Okay, I was Mark Johnson with that catch. I think I said Sal Goddard in real time. Maybe not, though. Maybe he also got tackled at the one-yard line. I don't know. It just seems like everybody got tackled at the one for the Aviators. Just set it up for Raiden Bolt. Very next play. Getting into the end zone. Kind of got stuck on. Uh, lineman there for a moment with that animation. But, yeah. Nobody in front of them stopping the 6 4 man from getting to the end zone. I know Raiden Bolt, he's celebrating right now with the squad. They're going to have themselves a fun night in Dallas, I would say. Maybe after that they'll head on to Disney World. I guess that's the NFL thing, so we can we can send them to Universal to be to be different. Send them to some amusement park on Planet Coasters. <laughs> you just see the frustration. Long, just having to watch a pass be just picked off and have to go make sure the defender's down. I don't know, it didn't look like Amari Long even contacted him there until he was already up. So I don't know, he was even truly down there, but that's what they called him. That's what the game intended it to be, anyway. Uh, da -da. Jordan Smith, nice play. He's just, he just helped this team out so much. I think he's really what pushed them over the edge to allow them to take it to the next level. Like Pedro just needed that weapon because it's like he's got all these big guy like possession receivers, and he's got the slim Jordan Smith, just toasting defenders, getting open on routes. All sorts of things, but look at Rainbow here. So leap over Addison Cummins, who got blocked to the ground, and then Trey Johnson just boom <laughs> flips him over. And he gets up like it's nothing. 
Mahomes sacked in the end zone safety Marquise Cooper that's really when it like truly like fell apart I'm like okay Aviators win it after that and then nice toe drag catch Kevon Staten so I got the two points off safety and they got the ball right back and a touchdown by the season one veteran receiver drafted in season one first ever draft pick by the Aviators, Mark Johnson. Pedro is hyped. I think that's when he knew that he was for sure going to win this game. Maybe he knew well before the game. Let's see. Looks like a fairly all oh, wearing number eight jersey for some reason. <laughs> fairly decent mix of, oh, I think I saw an AD. Mark Johnson. Afraid of the uh, mix and the crowd of aviators and Flyers fans. Yeah, they ran out of time for the half. They're now 19 nothing half time. So this was crazy. Like the aviators truly only scored three points in the second half. I mean added that in at the end because Madden just doesn't know how to work as a proper football game but like why on earth would you kick it with I mean they didn't even line up in victory formation or anything like they have every other game in this postseason but yeah, I mean just I mean not really a lot of meaningful stuff happened after we all knew it was over. Look, I mean, we really knew it was over after plays like this. Perry, Eric Perry picks off Michael Mahomes. Complete killer for the Flyers. Bolt just kind of took over to close things out. I mean, even as early as the third quarter. And the Aviators drove down there. They could the end zone. There's Trey Johnson with a hit stick. Kind of from the side. Lucky for him. It didn't knock him into the end zone. Almost did though, kind of. Here is Mahomes, Amari Long. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's show the rest of these plays. The Aviators truly started just running down the clock, like running down the play clock before they. Snapped it and stuff. And then Kelvin Rhodes, another interception. I think this play is really what won him the V Bowl MVP. Though, I mean, like, in the grand scheme of things, like, there are players that contributed more overall, like, Raven Bowl to the actual outcome of the game. Like, even if he didn't pick this off, like, 
fires <laughs> based on the way the game is already going. Find a, find a way to mess this up. It's like the... I don't know the like the thing that picks the V Bowl MVP or just the Madden Super Bowl MVP thing. Let's we'll call it player of the game. Seems very heavily favored towards defensive players, which I guess we've just had some defensive players had really good games and stuff. For some key turnovers, but I mean, like last season we had Matthew Gleamer played a Darrell Franklin, I'm like, one of them will win it, but no. The 42 yard field goal, his time expired just to have spite, I guess. And this is punctuation on the vengeance. That regular season, week 12, embarrassing loss for the Aviators. But nobody's going to remember that anymore except for maybe some Flyers fans. Because the Aviators are your season four virtual bowl champions. Winning 25 to nothing in Dallas, Texas over the Salt Lake City Flyers. Man, that's. That's it for season four. The only thing I've left to do is like post some stuff from this game and all that on Instagram. And then also post the season award winners. And we'll have to make that thumbnail for the game as well. Uh, but that's it. The Aviators have won. And we're about to enter the off season. And if you would like, just DM me or about uh, submitting a player. You can submit another player, even if you already have one in the league, one player per season. Uh, just DM me that. I mean, we, we really don't need any quarterbacks, uh, any more quarterbacks, unfortunately. Like, we just don't have room in the league. So, I mean, you only need one per team. I mean, defensive positions there are just so many defensive positions that are wide open like literally all of them you see how dominant some of these defensive players are like Trey Johnson played a heck of a game even though his team uh, offensively couldn't do much at all but I mean really not even a bad job by the Flyers defense you know Considering how the Aviators offense has just been going off on teams. I think it's the least amount of points they've scored in a playoff game this season. But anyway, uh, congratulations to the Columbus Aviators. And that's going to be all for this. Well, that's going to be all for season four for me. And see you next time. Hopefully, we can do college this season. I don't know. I might. It, like it's gonna be a few months before I can really do anything else with the league. But I uh, hope to see you next time. Whatever that is, follow us on Instagram at Virtual Football League One. Thanks for another great season. We've crowned a new champion. Season one was the Sacramento Miner. Season two. So the Toronto Thunderbirds, Season 3, the so Mexico City Golden Eagles, Season 4, it's coming back to America, America, for the first time since Season 1, uh, after consecutive wins by international teams, the Columbus Aviators take home the championship trophy, once again, just congratulations to them, and yeah, that's going to be all for this one. Season 4, hope to